Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald and I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit subscribe. Now I know a lot of you guys are either still on vacation or you're just going back to classes now or your studio is still closed. Either way, I thought it would be a good idea to throw out a turnout video exercise video for you guys today because turnout is something that I know a lot of people have a goal toward this year and I know turnout is something that all dancers want to improve. So let's go ahead and get started. Feel free to do some of my other technique tip videos as well. I will put some in the comments and the description box down below that I think complement this exercise video. So without further ado, let's get started. We don't need any equipment for today, but all we're going to do is go from a double stay from one side to the next to start out. Just to warm the hips a little bit. Throughout these exercises, you will get pretty warm. So we're not gonna do a huge warm up. If you prefer to do a ballet class before this, or if you'd like to do one of my warm ups before this, feel free to do so. But we're just gonna go from one side to the next, nice and easy. And then we're gonna go ahead and our elbows and just lift one knee. And then the next, and again, one knee. And the next, and let's reverse. One knee, and the next. I meant to reverse one knee <laughs> and then the next. Good, go ahead and swing your legs to your side. We're going to go onto our side for a second here and we're gonna take our top leg to the back. The inside leg, the bottom leg is rotated, the top leg is also rotated and my hips are stacked, my shoulders are stacked. This underneath leg is going to lift, use the inner thighs if this is painful in your hip bone, go ahead and cushion it if you need and lower. We're gonna do that again lifting and lower and again lifting lower lifting as high as you can without tilting the pelvis keeping it nice and square let's do five lower four lower we're going to do eight in total three lower two and lower last one one flex through the foot and we're going to do little pulses for 16 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do that all again. We lift for 8, lower, 7, lower, 6, lower, 5, and lower. Nice tight core. 4, Lower, I know it's getting tiring. Three, lower, two, and lower. Last one, one flex, we pulse for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Point the foot, take the top leg on top of your bottom leg in a retire, and we're going to lift the knee for eight, and tap the toe, and seven, tap the toe, six, tapping the toe, we do five, tapping the toe, we do four, tapping the toe, three, don't let the hips open up, two, good, and last one, one, and let's extend and bend for five, four, three, you can flex the foot if you need, two, and one. Now this one's going to be pretty difficult. Take your front hand out in front of you and you're going to roll onto your front, trying not to touch the floor with your top hip. You're gonna to try to keep that leg nice and open like you're doing a fouette towards the bar. If you're an Alice Akon right now, you're doing the fouette towards the bar and you're not bringing it to arabesque, you're keeping it in seconds, so it's not actually a forte, it's more of a um, promenade, so it's hard to speak there, and come back again. Promenade to the bar, turning out, and come back. Let's do two more. Promenade, and turn out. Last one, promenade, and relax. Good, go ahead and prop yourself up on your elbows, knees stacked slightly in front of you, and we're gonna open and close again for two close three close four keeping that waist lifted close we do five close 
six and close seven and close last one eight stay with me and we're going to tap the knees together tap the toes again tap the knees tap the toes two more tap the knees tap the toes last one tap the knees tap the toes beautiful go ahead and relax and then go into your front for the last one on this side and we're going to do the same thing on the other side after this so go ahead and bend your knees and you're going to keep your knees together open up your feet we're internally rotating our legs you're going to lift your thighs off the floor engage your core engage your pelvic floor muscles think of lifting the belly button off you're going to lift your thighs lift your knees and lift your knees off the floor into a butterfly we can flex the feet here you're going to draw little circles going down and up without touching the floor with your thighs for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three, two, and one. Go ahead and extend your legs as high, as rotated, and as far as possible for 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep rotating legs, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the toes together, knees open, and then slide into a frog and push your hips to be in line with your knees, engaging your glutes, to relax the front of your hips. And we're gonna hold this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and go on to the second side. So we're going to start with that inner leg lift. So top leg behind you, bottom leg in front of you well underneath you actually not in front but just this one's behind and we lift for eight and seven and we do six five and we do four and we do three don't lose the rotation two one we flex the foot pulse for 16 15 14 13, keep rotating, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we do it again. We lift for 8, and lower, 7, and lower, 6, and lower, 5, lower, 4, almost there, and 3, and we do two, and we do one, flex and we pulse for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead, take the top toe on top of the bottom knee, inside of the knee, and we lift the knee for eight, and down, seven, and we do six, and we do five, and let's do four, and we do three, and two, and last one, one, we extend and bend for five, four, three, two, and stay with me, one, Here's the weird one where we flip towards the bar, rotate both legs and extend, come back up. Again, three more and come back up. Keep the height of the leg as you do this, two. And last one, one and up. Go ahead and relax. We press up onto our elbow next. We stack our knees slightly in front and we open and close for eight and seven and we do six we're almost there five and we do four three two lifting that waist one and we tap the knees tap the toes again tap the knees 
tap the toes. Again, tap the knees, tap the toes. Last one, tapping the toes and relax. Beautiful. Go on to your front. Very last one. Once again, we keep the feet together, knees together, open up the feet, lift the thighs, engage the core, rotate the legs. And this time we're going to reverse the circle. So go away, down, and think of scooping up and lifting. Try not to touch the floor with your thighs. We do eight, seven, six. I know this one's kind of awkward. Five, four, three, two, and one. And this time, bend the knees in. Go ahead and rock the hips back. Alternatively, you can actually go into your middles or straddles, engaging your glutes, stretching your inner thighs. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and I hope it helped you with your technique and that you feel a little bit more open for your middles. Have a great rest of your day. As always, it's such a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.